Hello, sweet friends. Welcome back. Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I am excited to share with you some DIY floral garden party ideas. I hope you'll be able to use these if you have a party coming up, a birthday party, a wedding, a baby shower, a wedding shower. Um, for us, we use this for my daughter's graduation party. I've got some fun DIYs to share with you and hopefully a few things that'll save you some time and money. I hope the bugs and the construction are not too loud out here. <laughs> so first up are some DIY cupcake stands or DIY tiered trays. I picked up three glass dishes from Dollar Tree. These are their larger dinner plate size. They do have some smaller ones though, if you want a larger plate on the bottom and then a smaller one on the top. And you can just use any of their glass candle holders as a riser. You've probably seen people do this because I feel like a lot of people have done tiered trays on YouTube over the years, but I hope that this take on it will at least give you some new inspiration that's hopefully different than anything you've really seen before. So on the backs of the plates, I applied a coat of dishwasher safe Mod Podge and then put some pressed flowers on there. And obviously you want to put the flowers down kind of like face down because when you flip that plate over the flowers are going to show through now i ordered flowers previously from amazon you can get dried flowers on there let me know down below in the comments where would you buy dry flowers from do you know anywhere to get pressed dried flowers i would love to know your advice where i've been getting my dried flower from really inexpensively has been timu they have very affordable dried flowers and then if you want to make your own by all means dry your own flowers we spray painted the candle holders in the middle gold and once they were dry applied everything together using some e6000 glue and some hot glue so that just let everything hold. You do want to let it cure for a little while. I, I did it a day before and it was able to just kind of like sit a full day before we used it, but even longer would be better. I just didn't have it because we were traveling and I did not want to assemble them until we actually got there to set up for the party. Now for the edges of our tiered tray, I took some gold foil leaf paper and this is kind of fun to use. It really dresses it up. I added it around the edge just again using my dishwasher safe Mod Podge and it came out so pretty. little time saving hack if you have a lot of desserts to make and then in particular if you need some that are allergy friendly um, consider having someone you know hiring someone to make some of your desserts I was at first planning to make everything but I realized that it was going to be quite a few cupcakes and cookies and then not to mention the other things like chocolate covered strawberries and we had little fruit salad cups that we made as well as little mini trifles so it just kind of got to be a lot what i ended up deciding to do was actually hire somebody who does cakes and cupcakes to design some of the flower cupcakes they were regular traditional cupcakes and then we just put little 2023 20, toppers in there again i got them on timo and they were really super affordable and then i just made a batch of a gluten-free and vegan cupcake with our own icing for that and it worked out perfectly because i only had one type of cupcake to make and decorate and trust me it still can take enough time so that way i had the other ones already coming and accounted for and already being made by someone else So I decided to do some flour sugar cookies that would be vegan and gluten free and then decorate them like the flowers that Renee really wanted. And she also liked the idea of some graduation themed ones. And so we had someone else do a batch of sugar cookies that would just be 
her a regular sugar cookie batch which actually wrapped them individually so that was an option for people to take home as a favor if they wanted to let me know in the comments do you guys like chocolate covered strawberries i feel like there's a lot of people who love them but then every so often i find somebody who's like ew chocolate and strawberries together is so gross and i'm just like really i feel like it's so good but i guess some people have a very strong aversion to chocolate and strawberry combination i'm very curious how many people like it or don't but one way i enjoy serving them is inside of a cupcake liner or a cupcake wrapper and you can find pretty ones design ones you know whatever color is going to fit your theme now let me tell you about these diy trifles everyone always enjoys them and i probably should have made more because they were the first thing gone on the table like everyone loves them so all you need is make your favorite batch of brownies make some pudding chocolate pudding whatever kind you like you can grab a box of the instant pudding mix i did that and then i actually made it with oat milk because i wanted them to be nut free but i think almond milk works better in my opinion if you're looking for dairy free i think the almond milk gives a little bit of a thicker it makes the pudding thicker than the oat milk did even though the pudding was a little bit more wet it didn't even matter it was just like perfect to make the day ahead and they could just sit in the fridge and then they're ready to put out the day of your party so it's perfect and then you just layer them with some cool whip or in my case you could get a true whip or a cocoa whip if you want to make them a little bit richer you can also add a little bit of espresso or instant um, coffee powder or something in with your brownies or in with your pudding mix either way it will give it a little bit more of a mocha uh, mocha brownie trifle more of a fudgy decadent taste I don't know I feel like the coffee helps and I didn't add the espresso powder into my pudding this time because the, this brownie recipe actually already had it in it but so yummy and delicious just layer your brownies your pudding your cool whip it's not a healthy recipe but it's a fantastic delicious easy dessert that everyone always loves <laughs> It's always great to have a healthy option though, in my opinion, and the fruit cups were tasty. We actually had some left over that we ate the next day for lunch, so nothing went to waste. When you're doing a whole dessert table and having multiple like smaller desserts like that, I just try to plan as if everyone's probably gonna take at least two things, maybe three, and then just have enough items to kind of accommodate for two to three per person. A lot of times people do only take one or two, but if you account for like three items per person, you should have plenty. And that doesn't mean you need three of everything because, you know, if you have six or seven choices, people aren't going to take all of that. So just, just have enough in total that equals like three desserts per person. Now we also did a fun balloon arch and I was trying to think of how to set this up, especially because we wanted to do it outdoors, but we knew that we would have to do it in the basement of the church there if, um, the weather didn't cooperate which you never know in july in the afternoons thunderstorms can be a really common occurrence so we weren't sure where we'd end up doing it and i was trying to plan this so it would look something pretty beautiful outdoors that's something we could also transition indoors if we had to and it would still make for a beautiful event and so i ended up deciding on this large gold hoop and i think it'll be really pretty to be able to use you could use it as a backdrop for a dessert table, but it's also a really great standalone piece if you just want something pretty for decor and a great place to stand in front of and take pictures. I love that it also provides like a really great photo opportunity spot. And to be honest, this entire gold frame that I think was like seven feet tall collapses down into a box that no joke is like a foot and a half long by like eight inches wide. Like the whole thing collapses down into this box that's just about so big so very happy with that because i can easily store it out in the garage to use in the future for hopefully for another event now i used a balloon arch kit that i picked up on amazon and it came with quite a few balloons we did fill it in a little bit more just by adding in some of the gold confetti balloons they're really pretty and they just add a little bit more dimension i think to your balloon arch now before i forget i also wanted to mention the beverage labels that i made as well so for our little beverage table we set up a little card table over here and then just dressed it up again adding just different 
greenery. We had a mix of artificial greenery and a lot of real flowers as well. Trader Joe's is like the place to go to get affordable flowers for your event. I let me know if you know a cheaper place to get flowers. I'll put it that way. Leave it down below if you know anywhere else that we should buy flowers from. But I got so many baby's breath and just like different grains that were so pretty, different mixes of, um, I don't even know the names of them all, but lots of pink flowers. We had some that had yellows in it, but I got a few bouquets of baby's breath of um, pink flowers and then a few that were just like random summer bouquets and we kind of, kind of mixed and matched everything up and made a couple bouquets for every table and I had a few left over to also incorporate um, just other places around the party on the dessert or drink table and just make it really fun and festive. I did use some artificial flowers in there as well on the food table and it's so pretty. You can really mix and match. If you've got some nice quality artificial flowers especially like just feel free to mix and match and have fun with it we added some candles you know to kind of go with that a little bit of a subtle Victorian touch I couldn't tap into the Victorian vibes as much as I think Renee was hoping for at first just because it was too unrealistic for me to get lots of candle holders for outdoors and then I couldn't transport them all so I would need to once we got there to visit family be like shopping all the thrift stores looking for gold candle holders and then I didn't know what to do with them all after I would probably have to just donate them I guess I don't know what I do with all the candle holders so it felt a little bit unrealistic so we used what we some of what we already had we used some candle holders my mom already had and just kind of pieced everything together not to mention a lot of times outdoors the candles can be tricky if there's wind because they just go out and <laughs> I did bring battery operated ones and some of them I didn't use because you put the batteries in and turn them on and it's a sunny day and you can't even tell that they're lit. And the table runners I got for less than $2 a piece on Timo for my tablecloths. I did not even do anything fancy. I got one large roll of a vinyl tablecloth table cover from Party City, which you can just order online and have it shipped to you. So for our beverage table now, before I forget, I set up a metal tray from Walmart. It was under $10 and we filled it with ice and I found these little plastic drink pitchers on Amazon that I just thought were very nice to be able to serve drinks in. They just looked very classy and neat and they also had a cover on the spout so I didn't have to worry about bugs being that we were outdoors under some trees you know I didn't want bugs climbing into the drinks or anything so I felt like they were a really good solution for that and can totally use them later I, I literally have some of these that I keep in my laundry room with vinegar in them for my laundry so they're very versatile we wanted to have some ice water some cold brew iced coffee being that it's a summer day Renee wanted to also do Shirley Temples so that was really easy just mixing Sprite with a bottle of grenadine. I was able to get it at Walmart actually and then I put out a bowl with some maraschino cherries so you can top your drinks. Now I actually for the first time in my life I bought a package of clear plastic um, drink cups that had lids and straws and I know I was like debating because I felt like it was felt like it was a little bit wasteful like oh I should just do paper cups but at the same time being outdoors and everything, I felt like that might create a lot of waste um, if there was bugs or anything out of the trees, stuff, pollen, I don't know, falling into people's cups and drinks, stuff like that. So I opted to buy the covered cups for this. I think it was probably a good decision. And for the drink labels, I found these really cute little wooden chalkboard pieces in Dollar Tree and I thought it was the perfect theme like to go with our flower theme party. And you can just decorate them really easy with a chalk marker. I seem to have misplaced mine since we've moved. I didn't have it at the time, so I actually just used some white fabric paint. I had a puffy white paint, which you can pick up in Dollar Tree as well, so why not? And just outline the flower, put label whatever it is, and you can just tie that around your bottle. So easy and cute. Everyone will know what is in your drink containers. And it's just really fun to kind of coordinate the whole thing with your theme.
me a comment down below and let me know, do you prefer do having or attending an indoor party or an outdoor party. Thank you so much for being here. As always, I'm wishing you a beautiful and blessed day and I will look forward to seeing you guys soon in a new video. Bye!